there is a notion that only people who are mentally weak or weak-willed people become addicted to porn and masturbation. This is simply not true. There are three main categories of people who don't get hooked in porn. Now, the first category is that on their initial exposure to porn, they found it re repulsive or traumatic to view. For instance, the first time I smoked a cigarette, I found it incredibly disgusting and have never felt an urge for it ever again in my life. Sometimes this same group had more going on in their life that prevented them from investing more in porn to the point that it became, it became an addiction. Now, if you're in this category, consider yourself one of the lucky ones. The second group had a great fear of the consequences of getting caught. Maybe you grew up in a conservative society or household where the severity of the punishment for getting caught actually outweighed the pleasure of watching porn and masturbating. The final group actually just lacked access or the technical know-how to hide their digital footprints. This means they, they lack the knowledge for, of privacy settings on browsers and caches and so on. As a result, the fear of being discovered through their lack of knowledge prevented them from actually indulging in porn as much as they wanted to. Now, if you notice one theme from these three categories, it is that getting addicted to pornography actually takes work. It takes skill and time to find pornographic material, understand browser privacy settings, usually at a young age, and to cover your digital footprint. Unfortunately, many teens and preteens today will continue to work very hard to watch porn and masturbate despite the guilt and the shame they feel. The notion that is actually wrong is not that weak-willed people are the ones who get hooked on porn. What is wrong is the idea that you can stop pornography or masturbation whenever you want to. Many people who watch pornography actually believe that they enjoy it. But what if I told you that this is an illusion? That all you're doing is escalating from one genre of porn to another as you actually need more novelty to get your dopamine fix? What if I told you that in reality, you have more in common with a heroin addict who thinks that he or she actually enjoys shooting up? The truth is, porn addiction, like any other addiction, has withdrawal symptoms. And many of us are simply caught in this vicious cycle of relieving our withdrawal symptoms while thinking that we really enjoy watching porn. Mm -hmm.